Over a decade of research on stress and memory has supported one seemingly obvious conclusion. When people are stressed, they have a harder time remembering things. However, this may not always be the case. In a new study published in the journal Science, researchers at Tufts University have found that the right learning strategy, specifically retrieval practice, also known as taking practice tests, can protect memory against the negative effects of stress. Typically, when people are under high levels of stress, they are not able to access uh, information. So information that was previously learned cannot be retrieved. However, in the context of our present experiment, we found that those subjects who learned that information while engaging in retrieval practice were able to retrieve it even under those high levels of stress. To look at the relationship between learning strategies and stress, a team led by psychologist Ayanna Thomas and graduate student Amy Smith gave 120 student participants a couple of things to study. We had participants come in and learn the stimuli. So in this case, we had words and images. We had them learn either via study practice, they just study and re-study and re-study and re-study, or a separate group of participants engaged in retrieval practice where they were asked to recall from memory all of the stimuli they could three times over. They come back on day two, half of the study practice people and half of the retrieval practice participants get stressed and half don't. Stress induction involves having participants give an extemporaneous speech and then solve difficult math problems. 7,468. That's incorrect. Subtract 19 from 4,781. 4,767. That's incorrect. During and after the stress-inducing scenario, participants took memory tests. The researchers found that stressed individuals who studied using retrieval practice remembered just as many items as their non-stressed counterparts. Participants who just studied the material over and over, however, remembered fewer items overall, particularly after stress. I see the application of this kind of finding broadly. I see it applying to students who experience test anxiety. Getting them to learn information very well through retrieval practice may mediate that test anxiety. I also see this applicable to any individual who has to retrieve complex information under high stakes. When you time match people who study information over and over and over, and people who study and then test over and over, it's the, the people who test who come out on top. So it's not a matter of how much or how long you study, it's a matter of how you study.